Apple, Windows. How do I choose? Apple or Windows? There are pros and cons to both for you, and you don't know which one to choose. Well, today on Tech with AJ, we're going to tell you you can have the best of both worlds. Shortly after the first Intel-based Macs arrived on the market, Apple released a tool called Boot Camp. Now that lets Mac owners install and boot their machines natively into Microsoft Windows alongside an existing OS X installation without running two operating systems concurrently. So we're going to go through the steps today and show you with screenshots exactly how you can run Windows on your MacBook Pro or even your MacBook or Mac at home. First things first, before you begin, you want to make sure that you have the latest updates from Apple on your Mac. Now, you're going to see here in the screenshot exactly what the menu is going to look like. Now, in the top left-hand corner of your Mac screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. That is your Apple menu. You're going to go up and click on that. The drop-down menu, as you see here, is going to show. Second one down is software update. You want to click on that to install any updates for your system. Now once you get the updates, restart your computer if prompted. Now after restarting, you want to go back and check for software updates again just to make sure there are no new ones available because Boot Camp will be moving and reallocating space on your hard drive. You should back up any important data before you continue just in case anything becomes corrupted during the process so you can back it up to a thumb drive or even an external hard drive if you have one. The next thing we're going to do is run Boot Camp Assistant. Now remember, you need OS X 10.6 or later on your Mac. So if you don't have that, you're going to have to update that first. Now in OS X, make sure you quit all your open applications. And then you're going to open Finder and click Applications, then Utilities. Now in the Utilities folder, you'll double-click Boot Camp Assistant, and that will launch the Assistant. Now Boot Camp Assistant will walk you through the initial setup process. You'll click continue to begin setup. If prompted, select download the Windows support software for this Mac. Now this software is going to allow you to install the most current drivers for Windows. Go ahead and click continue. Now once you've finished downloading the software, the assistant is going to prompt you to create a Windows partition on your hard drive. Now this action actually segments your hard drive to devote some free space to Windows without interfering with or erasing your existing OS X installation. At this point, you will see a slider representing your hard drive. As you see in the picture here, you can decide how much hard drive space to allocate to your Windows partition. So adjust the slider to give your Windows partition more or less free space. And keep in mind that any space you assign will be deducted from the available free space on your OS X. So if you use your OS X more, you're going to want more hard drive space there than you do on your Windows. Now when you are satisfied with your partitioning scheme, go ahead and click Partition in the bottom right hand corner and OSX will begin partitioning and rearranging your hard drive data. Now this process may take some time, so be patient. Now once partitioning is complete and your hard drive is prepared and ready to support Windows, the last task is to install the Windows operating system. First thing you're going to do is insert your Windows installation disk into your Mac optical drive. Now you are going to need to buy a full copy of Microsoft Windows. This does not come with your Mac when you purchase it. So you're going to click the Start Installation button once you insert the disk. Your computer will reboot and start the installation of Windows. Just follow the wizard to complete a normal Windows installation. Now if prompted to do an upgrade or custom installation, choose the custom option. At the Where do you want to install Windows screen, select the partition labeled Boot Camp. Then select Drive Options, Advanced, and choose Format. Do not make any other selections or you risk losing your OS X installation. Now, from seeing this picture here, you're ready to start the actual Windows install process. If you have any trouble installing Windows, you can always refer to your Windows documentation. Once Windows is installed, you need to install the drivers that you downloaded in the earlier step to make sure that all of your Mac hardware works properly in Windows. Now that includes sound, display, and wireless network adapters. When the installation is complete, eject the Windows disk to remove it from your computer. Insert the flash drive or disk you burned earlier containing the Windows drivers. You're going to click Start, Computer, and double click to open the disk or flash drive. In the Boot Camp folder, double click Setup.exe to install the Windows drivers on your Mac. From there, just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installations. Do not cancel any installations or you're probably going to get errors. 
Now, if you see warnings about certification or testing at any time, just click continue anyway to proceed. And after the installation is complete, reboot your computer. Okay, now that you have both Windows and OS X installed and functioning on your Mac, you can always choose which operating system to launch at startup. Just hold down the option key when turning on the computer or during a restart to bring up the operating system selection menu and make your choice by double clicking either OS X or Windows. And that's how you can have the best of both worlds, Mac and Windows. On Tekken with AJ this week, thanks to Sunrise Computers and Electronics, 1805 Lincoln Way East in Chambersburg. They are the real professionals. For any questions, supplies, computers, iPads, you name it, they've got you covered. So stop by and see them.